WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman on this uh, Friday, the uh, 12th of, 11th of November. We're looking at uh, this 11 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 147. You can expect that after a spectacular session like yesterday, just some kind of a breather, some kind of a kind of that excess from the last hour just give some of that back so what we're looking at here is the high of the day so far is 33,797 um, that's really good action all the technicals are good I haven't really got the unbalanced volume confirming all this just yet but so far we're above the uh, weekly resistance level and that's going to be very good going into next week looking at the S&P uh, a very strong move up, up 19 at 39.75. 39.83 has been the high of the day that breaks above yesterday's high. That's a really good leg B in the weekly chart. First time we've seen that in quite a while. Looking at the QQQ index 100, strong move up. Actually now has gone above the high that was made in October at uh, 286.34. We're up 3.29, very good action. As the NASDAQ 100 and the small caps are starting to catch up. Can they start to lead a little bit? Maybe the Dow takes a bit of a breather now. Well, the IWM is at the 200 period moving average at 187.95, up 257. Very good action. I didn't get to talk about this in my show, the target technicians hour. It's really important that the XLF on a weekly basis closes above the week, the high that was made back in August, I believe it was, at 35. Uh, 97. So far, the high today is 3602. I'd love to see a close above that. And that says there's a kind of a trend, a tidal change is taking place. Looking at the gold, uh, gold had a very strong move up yesterday. It has a follow through today. It's at 1766. The GDX is stalling at the 200 period moving average in leg D. So fabulous move. Maybe takes a little bit of a breather here. A dollar has just been pounded to the downside 114 was the high back in uh, september the 28th here it is at 106 that's a big move down but if you're looking at the patterns we've got left side right side price time match to the uh, to the daily chart and we've broken the support in the weekly chart so that's a big negative and i didn't even have a chance to look at the usd jp why in my show i uh, did that do that right yep that's breaking down as well so we're looking at the breakdown of those currencies that's helping the euro looking at the tlt bonds uh yep they've had a good rally they're holding the rally so far that's important i'd like to see yields come down a little bit in this particular phase have a wonderful rest of the weekend and once again thank you to our vets uh, for uh, everything that they've done have a great weekend. See you all on Monday. Stay tuned. Steve Rhodes, uh, Think or Swim, Larry Pizzavento, Dave White, Tom O'Brien wraps it up. Have a great show. Remember, we started now with Tommy Jr.